Hello everybody, how are you doing? I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and today I've got a very special guest with me. His name is Rahul. I'm sure many of you would recognize him. He's the same guy from uh, Facebook. He's been helping hundreds of thousands of people. In the Facebook group, he's been replying on different comments and different different posts. So Rahul, thank you so much for this uh, video. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. And uh, he is here in Mississauga, so I came over to meet him and record this video. I'm sure it's going to be very interesting. So without any further ado, let's begin this video. Okay, so now tell us something about uh, your experience so far. You work in IT, how did you land in Canada and things like that. So I landed in Canada back in February. So it's been around four or five months since I've been here. So before I came to Canada, I was in the US for about nine years. And I moved to US uh, back in 2012 to do my masters. And since then working in the US, and one of my main reasons to move to Canada was the immigration issues with US with all the political changes that are happening right there. So me and my wife decided to move to Canada and uh, we are quite happy with the decision we took. So uh, did you move after Trump became the president? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so we were there when this whole Trump thing was going on, the elections were going on, it was quite crazy. And uh, so I told my wife, whether Trump gets elected or not, it will be benefit for us. <laughs> and one way or another, because uh, our life is un in our hands, we won't let him dictate it. So he came to power and of course immigration became even more difficult. So we just had it and we thought, hey, let's move back to India. But a friend suggested, you know, just try Canada Express entry first. I looked at it, looked fairly simple. So I thought, hey, I'll try this first before I move back. And here I am. So did you uh, like try Australia, did you compare between Australia, Canada, any other country? No, Australia I never wanted to go because uh, I had some friends there and they had some experiences with racism in terms of the society not being that open. Maybe it's their personal experience and it's not the whole picture. But that was good enough for me to take a call that I didn't want to go to Australia. And being in the US, right, a shift to Canada was a natural progression for me because I could just take my car and come here. <laughs> I didn't have to change much. I had a settled base in US. I had lots of friends in Canada. So Australia immigration, I never thought. So it was either Canada or India. Okay, so what was the process all about? Did you, you came through the express entry system? Yes, I did, yeah. And did you apply through any immigration consultant or through your own? No, I hired a Canadian immigration lawyer. So his office is back there in Toronto, uh, Ontario. And uh, when I hired him, so I was looking through all the different pages and uh, I understood the immigration process as a whole, but I was too lazy to fill out all the forms. So <laughs> I, do, I did have the resources to hire a lawyer. So that was the natural option for me. Okay, so uh, like we have been suggesting uh, thousands of people out there that yes, we can do the complete process on our own. So what are your thoughts on this? Oh, definitely. It's an individual choice because lawyers, I never uh, recommend to hire consultants because these consultants or lawyers are completely different and lawyers, many people cannot afford, right? That option is not there. So in that case, doing things by yourself is a good option. And, but in case you have a very complex case, you're not able to do the things you need to do and you're not able to afford a lawyer, maybe you can try a consultant but you need to vet them properly. You need to see whether they have proper knowledge about the process and for that you need to do your own research and have a bunch of questions ready and if they answer them, because once you have power until you don't give them money. Once your money is gone, you just have to beg them to do things and follow up. So, Hiring a consultant is not something I was ever going to do but that's why I hired a lawyer because you know, I had the resources to do it so it's personal choice the next best option would be DIY so uh, he has been as I told you earlier he's been helping you know hundreds of thousands of people in our you know, Facebook group and uh, you know you know we often uh, we're often asked this question by different people from different countries that you know which is the best consultant uh, you know which 
should we actually hire a consultant so here's the answer that uh, you know if you have actually you know that kind of money if you don't have time to research because yes it will involve a lot of research you need to give a lot of time to understand the process obviously and then after that uh, you know come over to our facebook group watch the videos you know not just mine uh, many of the videos you need to understand the complete process go through the cic website basically and understand each and every minute uh, detail so if you do have that time and uh, if you don't have like extra money you can definitely do it yourself okay so moving on so how has the process been so far in in canada so the immigration process for me fortunately was quite easy so with uh, my us masters degree helped me a lot uh, with 3 plus years experience so i ha- i was in that golden zone they call it with age and experience and education so for me the process was quite easy i got my ita i think a day after i submitted my profile and before i submitted my profile i had most of the documents ready so then we submitted it the only challenge i had was getting a pcc from the us because uh, when i applied they didn't have online application system so that made us uh, submit our eapr in august but in we submitted in august in november we got our ppr email and then we moved here in february after you know wrapping our them things back in the us and ever since we have moved here again i have been lucky because both me and my wife had already had jobs and those jobs just continued uh here in canada so our transition was not that difficult we both uh, got our driver's licenses that wasn't because we just converted a us driver's license so that process was not that difficult we already had a vehicle so we just traveled with that to canada so you know we could it helped us finding a uh, good accommodation so for me personally the experience has not been that tough but i truly understand it's not the case for everyone i am sure yesterday i made a video um, where i told people about the difficulties which immigrants face in their early phases getting a job is uh, one of them so do you know people i'm sure you do know some that uh, you know who have been struggling in getting some jobs so yes so some of the people are from uh, the dream abroad page itself i made many many good friends from there and some of the people i know personally so finding a job it's a personal journey for everyone for some it was quite easy like uh, one of my friends she landed in ottawa and i think within a week or so she was able to get two job offers so and we were discussing which job she should select and which not so that's a different topic but there is another friend who's been here for around 3 and a half 4 months and he has savings so that's good so he is able to full time dedicate full his full time to finding jobs but for him it's been quite tough to crack interviews uh one of the main challenges was the language barrier he faced and uh, but he's trying his hard and he's getting a demoralized a bit uh but i think he 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 is confident he will get a job eventually but now he started thinking of getting survival jobs and just supplement his income while he looks for a job so it's a personal journey some people really struggle depends on, a lot on your networking skills so if you have a good network finding a job the journey becomes easier but if you come here with a clean slate sometimes it can be quite tough so just be aware of that Okay so um how has Canada been treating you so far like uh, you landed when when did you land actually uh, I landed in February and I just drove across the Niagara Falls and so I came here I settled in Mississauga right from the start so you came just in the top of winter is <laughs> no oh, February correct so we just I think there was a vortex or something just during that month so we, we missed that and then we moved to Mississauga but since I came from Phoenix right I didn't know I I stayed on the east coast of the US for a while but I did I was not prepared to handle the snow so whenever my car was full of snow I with a hand I used to sweep <laughs> out all the snow I fell down on the stairs so, you know one funny incident happened uh when I was staying in an Airbnb right so I got a message from uh, the person that I've kept salt in the room make sure to dust your salt on the stairs so that you don't slip and I was like it was a two floor ka Airbnb so I was like there's a carpet there why do i need to spread salt on the carpet it's i wouldn't slip from that and then uh, you know at night i wanted to go out and bring something out from my car and i just stepped out and i just slid 
from the street was like four steps i slid i uh, passed the sidewalk and i was in the middle of the road and my i was wearing just normal sandals i couldn't even get up because it was so damn slippery and then my brain caught up that she was telling to sprinkle salt on the outside stairs not <laughs> on the stairs that were inside so it's small things here and there but it's been quite a good experience so far okay um what good thing that you find in uh, canada what's like what are the pros and the cons that you have find in canada so far in your journey in the last few months uh people weather like these kind of things so the best part about canada is the people so i found people to be very friendly very helpful they'll clear most of your doubts will, most of the people will smile at you when they meet you so people are the best part of canada uh, other than that the laws are quite good the culture is quite open so for people who are open minded so this is a great place to be uh, the negatives there are not much actually uh, even for immigrants like there are a lot of their child care benefits and a lot of social services available for new immigrants so that's also a good part of it not many countries do that the negatives weather would be the quite obvious one people sometimes i have had friends who have had challenges in canada and trying to settle down here so you know we were talking even before this interview about some of those people yeah. so you know it it's again a personal journey for some well, even weather is not that much of a problem i personally love snow so other than driving in the snow everything else i like about it so <laughs> because you get to drink tea just tastes better in winter let me just put it out there so <laughs> and i am a tea person so uh, you know for canada there are not much negatives like if you are an open minded person person who likes to roam there are plenty of natural things to explore this is an unexplored country so it's not full of people you'll find many many places you'll go for the first time and you'll explore and you'll see the natural habitat a lot so if you're that kind of a person you'll enjoy canada a lot if you're someone who's very close minded and very rigid settling might be a bit of challenge and getting used to the culture might be a bit difficult but you'll get used to it over time all right so uh, moving on to the next question how has canada been treating you in terms of uh, the government processes like uh, do you feel that the government processes are you know quite easy they are quite helpful for people or like it's quite difficult and uh, you like you find you have to you know get in queues in in the offices or anything like that so government pro- government services rather are quite good so you in ontario you have service canada and service ontario depending on, on what type of services you need uh of course there is a lot to learn but there are people to help so any time you have a question or a doubt you can always visit one of these offices there are plenty of offices around and you can just ask on the help desk and they'll guide you properly of what the process is lot of the information in fact all of it you will find on the websites as well yeah. so i think ontario it's settlement.org and they have almost everything there so you can be pre prepared before your visit in case you are traveling with public transport right you want to make the most of the time so you can get in terms of documentation you can be pre prepared with your questions and you most of the time your work will be done in one visit uh, if you are well prepared so so some of the key services at least for me was when i did my landing process of course i gave my friends address for my pr card and i got the pr card i would say in about 4 weeks and once i got my pr card uh, then i went uh, for a driver's li- in fact before that we went for a driver's license so on my us driver's license i could drive uh, for a month or so maybe month maybe two months so then we went to service canada and we both got our driver's license exchanged and we, luckily we just got the g license directly we didn't have to do any tests or anything else uh, then uh, i had an extra step of car registration So once you land in Canada with a car you have 45 days to register your car if not you'll have to send your car back so that because before that you have to do inspection and all those things so that was a little bit stressful because of that time constraint on it but so we finished that then the last thing i did was once i had found my house right then i applied for ohip so that's the last thing i did all right so thank you so much rahul for uh, agreeing to do this 
you know, thank you so much for having me it was quite fun no it's actually not easy for people to come in front of camera uh, you know i contact many people trust me i contact many people through linkedin in my office to speak in front of camera and uh, you know they have great experiences to share but they say that you know you talk to me about those experiences but i won't tell in the front of a camera it's difficult to face a camera so thank you so much no problem man happy to be here happy to help and of course i'll be active on the uh, facebook page as well so i'm yes, there so i'll provide the link uh, to the facebook group in the description box below you can check it out if in case you haven't joined that group that is probably the one of the most helpful uh, group for canadian immigration and lifestyle in facebook so please do come over there and join that group so thank you rahul again thank you Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to watch more these kind of videos which would help you immigrate and settle in Canada, then please click the subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. Thanks again for watching this video.